I am an assistant district attorney here in Nashville. Where I'm currently assigned is I work in a unit called the Special Operations, and we typically do the larger drug cases, and I also um, try to handle the sex trafficking cases that come my direction, as well as promoting prostitution. I am a former Metro Police Officer. I spent 14 years working in patrol, and then I spent eight years on undercover drug unit slash prostitution. We worked street drugs and prostitution. And being in that unit, I came across women involved in prostitution. I also got to see that they were murdered, more, they were more likely to be murdered than anybody else, uh, raped, stabbed, beaten, shot. This clearly is not a profession that anyone has chosen. The ones on the streets are all terribly drug addicted. They're prostituting to pay for an addiction. But when I came over to the DA's office, well, I started seeing an, an explosion of 18 and 19 year old girls getting arrested for prostitution, and it was all off the internet. And I found that very upsetting, one, because they're very young. Um, most of them were extremely immature. I was, I was telling the DA about it. She said, well, start your own program. I think she was joking. I said, fine. And she went on vacation for five days. She came back. I had the whole program pulled together. Hannah Project is a program that I started. It was like almost easy for me to do it because it's like I knew it was what I was supposed to be doing. And uh, I knew these women needed to be, and girls needed to be educated on sexually transmitted diseases. I showed them actual cases of women who were murdered or seriously injured here in Nashville involved in prostitution. And then a lot of these women that work the streets know some of these girls that have been murdered and they get to see these crime scene photos. And I'm not showing them the crime scene photos to freak them out. I'm showing them the crime scene photos so that they realize the seriousness of the situation that they're putting themselves in. Then the third segment is the Nashville Sexual Assault Center comes. Because the one common thread of all the women that I've ever met who get involved in prostitution, every single one of them was abused sexually before the age of 18. Every single one of them. And then the last class segment is Magdalene House, one of the graduates who's a recovered um, prostitute who's been clean at least two years they come and they speak and because they can relate to these women in a way that clearly I cannot and they talk to them about you know you can get out here's the help but it's pretty neat because in the morning everybody gets there and they're all defensive and you know they don't want to be there and by the end of the day I mean we're hugging each other um, so there's a lot of you know friendship going on in there because they realize everybody in there has kind of the same history they do these are all unsolicited comments so the things I have seen and heard in this class have really opened my eyes about going out there again. In this class, I didn't feel as if it was just something I had to do. That was because I was just like everyone else and treated as such from the start. That helped me more than anything.